Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tay, and today we are gonna do my January 2020 budget. We're gonna do the layout in the calendar format here, and then we're gonna roll right into our paycheck number one. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. And you guys, I am using my new Erin Condren planner, and I'm super excited. This is the monthly deluxe planner. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, first I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my pay days. So, since the new year, which, I, so I normally get paid every 1st and the 15th, right? And so, since the 1st was a new year, um, technically, I know I will see my paycheck on Tuesday, the 31st. So, I'm just gonna put that here. And then the 15th, so the 14th, I will be seeing much paycheck because uh, with my bank, I always get paid a day ahead than the normal payday, right? So usually it'd be the 1st and 15th, but I will get paid the day before. Okay, so now our first bill will be on the 3rd and that will be my Netflix. So I think i put that down here like that and then my netflix is three uh let's see where did i get three from it's nine dollars and 73 cents all right i hope you guys can see everything okay i'm kind of i'm actually using a different camera this time instead of my phone then we have my mortgage which comes out on the fifth since that's a Sunday, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here for the sixth. And then it should come out on the sixth, and that would be, we're gonna budget 17.24 for my mortgage. All right, now we have AMC, and AMC will be coming out on the 10th or should be coming out on the 10th. So we'll see how that goes. And that's crooked, but it's gonna be okay. All right, so AMC. All right, and my AMC is gonna be 23.49. All right, now we have American Home Shield. American Home Shield will be coming out, should be coming out on the 11th. So, mm, I'm going to put American Home Shield here on the 13th. And see how that goes. Since the 11th on Saturday, the next business day. And American Home Shield is the normal 44 90 nine all right now what's next sling so sling tv uh, that normally comes out on the 13th as well why did i do that you guys so what was this american home shield all right and this is sling all right so sling is 40 bucks well yeah, I'm a budget for $40. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but I know it's within this $40 range. Um, let's see. Now we have my car insurance. And my car insurance normally come out here on the 15th. So we're just going to put it there. For the 15th. And then my car insurance is... 115 20 because it did since the new premium can't came out it did go up a little bit from what i was previously budgeting for but that's okay and then we have ja which normally comes out or should be coming out on the 22nd and my ja for the last billing cycle was 
Now for the current billing cycle, I have no idea how much it's going to be for the month of February because I called myself um, pressure washing my house. So therefore I used a lot of water and I'm going to see how much damage I caused you know, in an upcoming bill. So we'll see. Then I have my cell phone bill, which should be coming out on the 25th. So since that's a Saturday, I'm just going to go ahead and do the next billing day, which is the 27th. And my bill is higher than normal. My cell phone bill uh, this month is 91.32, and that's higher than normal. And I I was trying to figure out why. It's because they don't have my military discount added on there. So I called them and they're like um, saying that it takes about one to two billing cycles for it to show up. So I'm going to keep an eye on that bad boy because 9132 is a little expensive in my opinion. Alright, now we have uh, Epidemic. And I hope I'm saying that right. Epidemic Sounds, which will be coming out 26th. Uh, where do I want to put that? So I think it should be coming out on 26th and I wouldn't move it to the 27th. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put it here on the 27th. And I don't know if I want to continue on with um, this subscription. It's $15 uh, for the little music I'll be using. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have my ADT, which comes out on the 27th. I have a lot going on on the 27th. Now y'all know my ADT just comes out when it wants to, but it's always towards the end of the month. Um, but the it's billed to come out on the 27th. But for whatever reason, it just takes forever. And then my ADT is 56.70. All right, and then I have my internet. Now my internet comes out at the end of the month too. Um, it should be coming out on the 31st. So we'll see. Y'all, my stickers are all over the place. All right, internet. And we're gonna budget, let's see, how much we're gonna budget for the internet. Can you guys see that? I know I'm like towards the end of, or the bottom of my, um, my binder here. So internet is normally, or I'm a budget $50 for the internet. And I actually have a credit, $25 credit on my internet. So I, this whole 50 probably won't come out at all, but we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. And then you guys, I joined a gym and that should be coming out on the 31st too. Now, the reason, and this is another um, thing that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep, but I wanted to find a gym where I could go and do like the little aerobic classes and like spin, Zumba, or what have you, and um, without me having to go all the way back to base. Uh, but we'll see how it is. And this is $23.53 a month. Um, but. So far, um, I think I'm going to like it. So, let's see. For the most part, these are all my bills for the month. And, yeah. This is pretty much the monthly layout of what all my bills look like. Um, so now, we're going to go ahead and break down paycheck number one. Alright, so... Like I said, you guys, it's my first time using these this um, planner. So we're gonna see how everything turns out. Um, all right, so I wanna do Jan budget number one. So, cause I have so much page and I don't have any stickers yet. Um, but I am thinking about, um, I'm going to figure out something as far as the stickers are concerned, but right now I'm just going to write everything in like I normally did the rest of my budgets until I figure out a sticker situation. So, Jen budget number one, 
And then I'll do, let's see, paycheck number one. All right, bills, um, budget, actual, and plus minus over there. Okay. So, my bills for the first half of the month. All right, so we have um, mortgage. Let me see if this is even through. Okay, I just had to check to make sure it wasn't bleeding through. Um, okay, I might have to, next time I might have to um, change my pins out. Uh, it's not bleeding through, but... Is still kind of, I don't know, you can still kind of see it a little bit. Okay, anyways, I'll figure that out later. American Home Shield, Sling TV, like we mentioned, uh, AMC. Then we have Netflix. And then uh, Total. So that's all coming out first half of the month. All right, so now we have uh, cash envelopes because I have started back. So now that I'm back home, uh, I have started back doing my cash envelope system. Um, and for cash envelopes, let's see, I do, I have my groceries. I have my gas for my car. Um, I still have my entertainment fund. And I have my toiletries. All right, and let's see, total. All right, and now I have my debts down here. Debts, budget, um, actual, and then plus minus. And then y'all already know, we're going to 2020 with two debts left. I have my Go Rewards and my TSP loan. Total. Ugh, why? There we go. All right, let me draw my lines real quick. Okay, so did all that, drew all my lines. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and fill in our budget. So for paycheck number one, uh, which will be my last paycheck with uh, that's tax-free, so I will still enjoy this little increase. So that is $2,790.20. Is what paycheck number one is. All right, so for the mortgage, we're going to go ahead and budget our normal $862. All right, then we have American Home Shield, and we know that that will be $44.99. Then Sling TV, we're budgeting $40 for that. AMC. Is twenty three forty nine, and then my Netflix is nine dollars and seventy three cent. All right, uh, let's go ahead and add that up real quick. All right, eight sixty two plus four four nine nine plus forty plus twenty three forty nine. Plus nine seventy three. All right, so that would be 
$980.21. All right, so groceries. So this month for groceries, I'm going to budget $300. For gas, I normally budget $160, and that's pretty much, that pretty much gives me $40 a week. Um, you know, obviously that's putting on the gas price. I think the gas prices around here is like two dollars and thirty five cents or something. So uh, that's that lasts me for the whole month. And then my entertainment is two hundred. And then my toiletries, I'm um, budget fifty dollars for that. Cause right now I'm pretty st stocked up when it comes to my toiletries, so uh, I'm good to go in that area for now. So fifty dollars would be just fine. All right, and then let's see, 300 plus 160 plus 200 plus 50. So that's $710. Now, y'all already know I do a zero-based budget. So with that being said, whatever's left over is going to come down here uh, and be a part of my debt, right? So... With that being said, $27.90.22 is what we're starting with, right? Uh, minus $7.80. Where did it $7.80, really? Minus $9.80.21. Minus $7.10 equals. So I have $1,100.01 left. Okay. Now, if you guys remember my... Um, my December debt pay payoff update. If you haven't, go ahead and hit the eye over there and then it'll take you right to um, that video. Now, I had mentioned that I wanted to um, start paying off my TSP loan. and um, But in order for me to do that, I have to send in either a money order or a cashier check uh, or, um, West, or something of that nature, right? So I, I can't do it online. So I was like, okay, Fine. So I want to start doing that. But the question was, how long was it going to take for the process? How long was it going to take to get there? But I want to try it out because I do want to go ahead and knock out this TSP loan so that my main focus can be uh, this one debt, and, which will be my Go Rewards card at the end of the day, right? So with that being said, I want to go ahead and send in $1,000 to my TSP. So when I get paid... I'm going to go to the bank and get a $1,000 cashier check and I mail it up to TSP and I'm just going to see how long it takes for it, for the whole process to happen. See how long it's going to take for it to get there, for them to process it into my account and, uh, and go from there. Uh, which means that I will have $100.01 to put towards my Go Rewards out of this paycheck. And then... We already know that's eleven oh one. So that means um, out of this paycheck, I will have eleven hundred and one cent to put towards my debt. And you guys, how quick and easy was that? Let me put an S there. But yeah, as usual, quick and easy. Um, you know, I got my cat my cash envelopes. These are all that I need for now. Maybe later, I would think about some sinking funds, but. You know, again, my main goal is to pay off this debt. So if I can kind of not have to deal with sinking funds for now, then I'm just going to keep it moving and uh, and continue focusing on paying this debt down. But that's pretty much it, you guys. This is my paycheck number one budget, as well as the budget layout that we went over earlier. And this is it, you guys. We're going to go ahead and see how this works out for us. But that's it, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you won't miss another one of my uploads. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!